Papa. We have some morning chatter going on. See it anywhere? Can you say peony? Hi everyone, Alex at Quarmdale Farm. Today and over the next couple days, we are gonna be working on planting 50 peonies on our flower farm. Peonies love full sun. They're a beautiful spring flower to sell. You can actually just sell them for a lot of money per stem. And I love peonies and I want peonies. So along the fence line behind me, we'll show it to you. It gets full max sun all spring and summer. Perfect spot for peonies. So what we're gonna work on right now is we're gonna lay out our landscape fabric and get it tacked down while I wait for the peony tubers to arrive in the mail. Peonies do not like their feet wet. They need really great drainage. And unfortunately in Oklahoma, we have clay soil. So we needed to really think through where we're going to put them. And the fence line I'm gonna show you has fantastic drainage. It's on a little bit of a slope from the street and it's on a little bit of a raised area that has good drainage from both angles. So down and then down again, I guess. So I think they're going to be very happy here. They're not gonna to be too wet. And because we are building a flower cottage for all of the flower farm processing, we're having to bring water from the house across our driveway to the flower cottage, which is on the same side as where we wanna put the peonies. So because the water is being moved anyways, our plan is to easily irrigate these peonies with one long irrigation line, and each plant can have its own dripper, and I'll be able to turn it on and not really think about them, which is the best kind of flower. So it's good to be a good neighbor and we are surrounded on three sides by a cattle ranch. And because I'm planting so close to our fence line here where the baby cows like to hang out and come visit, we Googled, are peonies bad for cows? Yes, they are. So that's something to consider. When we're planting these roots, I'm hardly gonna get any foliage the first year. So this is a problem for us to solve in a couple years when they're a much more mature sized peony. But what we're probably gonna do is we'll just run chicken wire along the stretch of barbed wire here so they can't get their little heads in and take a little peony chomp and get a tummy ache.
same day. So I got my peony tubers, I ordered them from a wholesaler. They are really small because we are trying to be budget conscious. The bigger, the more eyes on a peony that it has, the more it's gonna cost. So these are teeny little weenies, so I'm probably looking at three years until I can cut on them, but that's okay. I have plenty of mature peonies elsewhere. But I have my bag, I'm gonna count my tubers to figure out how many I do have to plant, and then we are gonna measure out our spacing and mark where our cuts are gonna be in the landscape fabric. So what we're gonna do now is I, cut, I counted all of my tubers. I have 49, my guess was 50, so pretty close. We are going to space out where all of the 49 holes are gonna go first. So then when we go to plant, we can just fly through the row, planting them in the proper spacing. For cut flower production, peonies should be spaced 24 inches apart from the center and 18 inches apart staggered in order to maximize the space. So that's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna see how far that sort of spacing takes us down our peony landing strip row. High density, I just think it's gonna be two feet grid, you know, just make it simple, All right? I should order more peonies to fill this whole space. I touch it. Barrett, take this and walk. Grab it and go. Walk, walk. go. Go, my man. Only 25 feet. Okay, stop, stop. Walk up, walk up, walk. Right here, right here. Come here, man. He's like a, he's like a sled dog. Right here, come right here, right here, right here. Right here yeah, put it, put it down. Good job. Wait, wait. Okay. Or hold it there for daddy. Is it, wait, 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 is that two feet? Wow. That's crazy. 19. You want to come and like check. Jeez. Why are they so aggressive? Okay, mid-task adjustment. We put this down a couple weeks ago and we hoped having it covered would kill back the grass like a little bit to help us with digging. No, the grass is actually thriving better under the landscape fabric right now. And so it's really difficult to break through that sod even though we're only going two inches deep. It's taking a lot of work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the kids' labor help and we're gonna roll up the landscape fabric. Eric's gonna run the tiller with the tractor down one sweep to break up the ground a bit more for us and we'll lay the fabric back down. Obviously, we could have done this before, but I'm pretty sure if memory serves me, when we put this landscape fabric down, we hadn't had rain for like a couple months and the ground was not in the right shape. It was too dry to till. So lesson learned, live and learn but I think this won't be too bad of a quick course correction and that'll make planting go so much faster. So let's till. I know that no-till is really popular right now. No-till has a lot of great benefits and I understand the principles behind it, but you really need to understand your, your situation, your soil, your grass, what you're working with. And sometimes it's just truly not realistic, especially when you're starting a new farm and it's a lot of virgin untouched area that you're trying to develop, you, you need to use a tiller. We have clay and we have Bermuda grass. Both of those things is not fluffy loam soil that we can just broad fork and plant in and not have problems. It is, I personally could not dig a hole. I need Eric to get the shovel out and his, his weight and muscles to break past the Bermuda sod layer to get to the clay. So we have to till and I understand that's controversial. Our desire is to work towards cultivating spaces that have cover cropping, 
and it's constantly being planted and nourished where we're not having to till those reused spaces year after year. But when you're creating a new space, often you need to start out with a till. That's just the reality. fabric to better promote grass growth. So we tilled, we got the landscape fabric back on, and now it's time to plant. We cut our holes, we cut them in an X fashion instead of burning a hole in the fabric like we do with our annuals, because that significantly cuts down on your weed pressure because you're not giving the grass sunlight access to keep growing. As the peonies mature and get bigger, you can just lengthen the X and then the flaps lay over until the peony sprouts in the spring and grows. So it's a really great way to do it is the X mark. I have my peony tuber here. This one is really nice. This one has three eyes and these eyes cannot sit more than two inches below the soil or I'm just going to be growing peony foliage and I'm never going to actually get a bloom. So these guys need to stay shallow. I know it's counterintuitive because you think they'll get too cold, but they will not. They are hardy to zone three, so they are fine with that arctic cold up in zone three. So when I dig my hole, I'm going to make sure these guys are not deeper than two inches. Now I sprinkled in some starter fertilizer, but peonies really don't need a lot. Okay, so see, soil level is here. I'll show you an example. This is soil level. So there he is under. Cover and press. I know it seems counterintuitive because like tulips and daffodils need to go like six inches deep, but peonies are shallow. One little eye on this baby. He's going to take a while. There he is. It's better to plant a little more shallow than it is deep. So I'm going to err on the side of shallow. There we go. It's about an inch and a half probably. It's so nice that we tilled. I can just make a nice little shallow well. Pick out my tuber that ma matches the side of, size of my hole. There he is. Right in there. I can take that off going to sit right there, line them up a bit with the opening, cover them up. Go. Super easy. We got 49 peonies planted. This was a peony, a pink peony mix. So there are Sarah Bernhardt and then two other very roughly classic pink peonies.
peonies in this mix. And as we planted them all out, we have almost an entire row left of space. So I ordered more peonies. I bought a magenta pink red mix. So when that delivers, we'll get those popped in, but I'm so excited about this. So this is an investment in the future for some of the most expensive, high demand cut flowers peonies. Florists can order these in, but they can't be grown in South America because it's not cool enough there. There's some big peony farms in Alaska, but local flowers are making a comeback and I want to be one of the flower farms that offers peonies in our area. So I'm making the investment for three years from now. One mature peony plant will give off at least 20 cuttable flowers and each one of those flowers can be sold at retail for $5. So you can do the math. So when all is said and done and I get these red peonies, this patch that we set up will have 84 plants. 84 plants times 20 stems each and often you can get more than that five, six, seven years mature peonies. So 84 times 20 is how many flowers I can expect to cut times $5, which is typically the retail cost. And that's how much money this 100 foot section on our farm could make us, which is in the $8,000 range. Could decrease it a little bit for florist if I sell wholesale, but that is so much money for a little bit of space. So even though I'm not gonna see any of this money for a couple years, I'm glad, well, Alex in, 2025 Alex will be really happy with 2022 Alex for what we got done today. As I said, I'm not gonna be able to cut on these plants for a couple years, but I still need to take care of them. So once we run water to this side of the farm, this side of the road, I'm gonna do drip emitters to all of them. And I just need to keep them hydrated is the biggest key. They love the sun, they just need water, and I can't just totally forget about them. So they will get drip irrigation, and I will baby them for a couple years until I can enjoy blooms. In my other sections of the farm, I have mature peonies. So if you're interested to see what those look like, subscribe to our videos because spring on the farm is going to be incredible with the amount of stuff you've seen me plant. So come back.